This video is for people who are new to knowledge management. If you're not, this might be too trivial for you. Now, I've watched several YouTube videos and read multiple articles on bidirectional linking, but I think it's one of those things where you never truly grasp its power until you actually use it yourself. You know that I use RemNote for this and I'm going to show my workflow later, but you can use Rome Research, Obsidian, or whatever your favorite note-taking app is. I just prefer RemNote myself since there's a free version I can try out first and other great features that it has. Anyways, bi-directional linking. I don't think it's widely taught in school. I mean, in history class, we learn about World War II. And in science, we learn about the world's greatest inventions. And then in language class, we are forced to read all these poems and books. But I've never thought to connect all of these together which would have created a more holistic view of the world's history. Okay, so in 1940s, this was happening in all these countries. And also, someone just invented the colored TV during that time. Wait, how did that affect people living in those countries? Also, the works of some authors may have been influenced by the war. You may laugh, but this is when it truly clicked for me. Right now, I'm watching Murdoch Mysteries, which is a series set in Canada in the late 1890s, and it's about this great detective who apparently met all these historic people. For example, Nikola Tesla was in the first episode, and Mark Twain appeared in the later episodes as well, along with Alexander Graham Bell, Arthur Conan Doyle, Houdini, Edison, and many others. So this is what I'm talking about. I know something about each of these individuals. I know a little bit about their contributions to the world, but I never thought to actually place them in the world's timeline. I never thought that Thomas Edison lived in the same lifetime as Winston Churchill or Helen Keller. Now you're probably wondering, why does this matter? Because if you're a student or a lifelong learner, connecting the lives of these people will make you easily retain this information rather than just memorizing cold facts. I mean, there's a difference between memorizing and understanding. First of all, memorizing, just for the sake of memorizing, is just plain boring. I mean, I could not, I could not do that. Secondly, that idea in my head won't be as strong as the others. And I'll show you exactly what I mean in my RemNote workflow. Opening RemNote, I use daily documents now to, you know, document what I consumed that day. It's pretty basic as you can see, cause I'm still working on a template that works for me, but this would do for the meantime. So here's what I do. I normally just watch a show on Netflix. And if they mention something that I would want to look up later, I would just quickly draft it here and put a question mark after, because not sure if it actually happened. Of course, the show is a work of fiction, but I'm guessing that the timeline has some truth to it. And then when I have time, I'll organize it. Usually, I'll make the name or idea a rem, then I look up more about it. I created a descriptor here called when, to organize the dates better, like so. And here are a few rems I've collected from the show so far. drive down the second point I was talking about earlier, Mark Twain here is the perfect example. Cause aside from the years he was alive, he is linked to two famous novels. Now I actually haven't read these two yet, but when I do, my brain would connect it to Mark Twain and his opinions and achievements back then. And my brain would wonder, hmm, did any of his stance on certain issues affect his work? etc. Another thing here is he's connected to the Philippine-American War. I was born in the Philippines, so I know all about the Philippine history. And suddenly, I became closer to Mark Twain, 
like he's not just a quote-unquote cold fact. As you can see here, I made Philippine American War a rem, then Treaty of Paris a rem, then Philippines a rem, and you get the idea. And this all started from Murdoch Mysteries. Quickly showing you how I actually organize this type of information. I know Wikipedia is not the greatest source, but I'm really looking for basic information here, so it would do. funny thing here is, all of these notes I'm jotting down, I've read before, but I forgot about them, because I was treating them like an island, if you will, when in reality, everything is interwoven. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and see you in the next one!